Hello, Familia. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, since we have this ministry, because this ministry, because we were shown mercy, hallelujah, thank God for mercy, we do not give up. Instead, we have renounced shameful secrets, or we have renounced shameful secret things, not walking in deceit or distorting God's message, but commending ourselves to every person's conscience in God's sight by an open display of the truth. But if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we are not proclaiming ourselves. I'm not familiar. In Jesus' name, I'm not. But Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And ourselves as your slaves. I am your slave because I'm a slave of Jesus because of Jesus for God who said, let the light, let light shine out of darkness has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of God's glory in the face of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now we have this treasure in clay jars so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. We are pressured in every way, but not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who live are always given over to death because of Jesus so that Jesus's life may also be revealed in our mortal flesh. So, so death works in us, but life in you. Hallelujah. And since we have the same spirit of faith in keeping with what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. We know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and present us with you. Indeed, everything is for your benefit so that grace extended through more and more people may cause thanksgiving to increase to God's glory. Hallelujah and amen. Therefore, we do not give up. Even though our outer person is being destroyed, our inner person is being renewed day by day for our momentary light affliction is producing for us an absolutely incomparable, eternal weight of glory. So we do not focus on what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, familia, but what is unseen is eternal. Hallelujah and amen. That's the end of it. <laughs> Forgive me. May God bless you and keep you. And I am just praying for you. And if there's any verses or any scripture that you would like me to read, I would be more than happy to. You can just put it in the comments. You can put it in my Facebook. You can anywhere, any of my information that I have out there um, on my YouTube page, please just contact me. Feel free. And that goes for anything y'all need. If y'all need counseling, spiritual counseling, I will, by power of Holy Spirit, do my best to help you. I that's what my purpose is for. That's why I was placed in the furnace of affliction. That's why I'm so crazy broken is so that I would have the time to be able to, to spend on God and on you because I physically can't work. I go without food because of my illnesses just you know, normally. And so working would make that even harder for me to eat. And so by the grace of God, I was given this gift. And so if there's anything more I can do for you that would help you familiar, I'd be, familiar, I'd be more than happy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I would be more than happy. God bless you and keep you and may he make his face shine upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Bye. I love you because God loved you first. Bye.